Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we played through the Royal Gardens in the Arabian Era, and we found everything in one fell swoop. And now we're going to do the same for Baba's Cave, the last area in the Arabian Era. Also, just like last time, I'm still playing with the box fan on because... My air conditioning still isn't fixed. Wonderful. Hopefully this won't go for much longer. Anyway, let me get a drink of some soda here, and we'll be on our way. And welcome to Baba's Cave. This place twists and turns a little bit, and you'll need to explore everything, not only to find all the carrots that you will be looking for, but also for all of the time regulator gears that you will be looking for. And thankfully this guy fell right into the path of where the anvil was, so he won't be near me anytime soon. And now I just need this guy to be completely away from the camera, so that way I don't have to deal with him anymore. Something is written. The lion's mouth will open when the path is open. And that stayed on for, for less time than I had to read it. You need to raise all these pillars to open this door up, is what this game is telling you. So we are going to have to explore this whole cave just to find where we need to go next and hopefully find some clues as to how to raise these pillars because we're gonna need to raise them anyway let's keep on looking around we should be able to find stuff somewhere feed me that's the hint for this go in the first person mode as bugs shoot a carrot into the lion's mouth and you'll raise a pillar Great! Now activate the other ones. That is exactly what we are going to do. Also, I need you to run right where the anvil shadow is. Very, very good. Alright, thank you. The rock obstructs something. It obviously does. Let's call Taz because we can call him over here. An airstream! Well, while we can't jump high, we can use our ear copter with bugs by jumping into the air and holding circle to slowly make our way up the airstream. And I think I could have used this in the wind temple as well. Not quite sure. Where am I? Okay, there I am. I about to say, am I right where I want to be so that way I can do this and not get hurt because that would be great anyway we need to wait for okay we need to wait for the wait for the flames to die down before we can shoot carrots into these lions mouths by doing just that we open up another pillar now here's another thing that we'll need tasks for. Let's go ahead and call him with R1. Once we get this guy in position, you little turd. Well, can I still do this? Bet I could. Thank you for moving me right into that. And thanks for doing that. That's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. What you need to do for this particular part is to hit the guy before he can drop down. And I don't know why I couldn't hit that guy before he could drop down. But that's what you're, you're intended to do. Let's go ahead and call Taz again. All right. Let's call Taz again. Let's see if we can get this guy back on screen. 
Why is he not back on screen? I need him back on screen. That would be great. And I'm also getting a little bit of lag here. And if you go into this room, you'll actually get a challenge. Match the corresponding color tiles of the room to receive a reward. But beware, if you miss three times, the lines will take care of you. Do you dare to try? All right, then you can come back anytime. And that's what I plan on doing. You know what? I know what I can do. We'll leave Taz here. We'll go back in here. Because if we go in here where the rabbit hole is, we'll actually enter this area where we need to throw some carrots into the mouths of the lions without the piranhas getting in the way. That's three and that should be four. That is four. Okay. Also, don't forget to get the crate. That is three of five. All right. Okay, he's back. No, that's still not what I want. I'll keep bugs around in case he does this again. All right. And that's what we need to do to get rid of that guy. We need to hit this guy while he's over here with the charge attack that we learned for Taz. By doing that, we get rid of him and we have all of the out of time characters. Get that 100 crystal gear in Sunset Alleys. You can easily. About this, I was as I was. Doing, you can easily beat this. In my practice run, so this one was really easy to remember. on the tiles and jumping on the ones you need to hit you can get 25 time regulator gears don't want to go there just yet actually I do but at the same time I don't I might as well do this I mean at least by doing this I can get a few carrots back and also have these guys out of the way. Now these line heads will shoot out bats. And you want to make sure that the bats are not in the way when you throw the carriage into the lion's mouth. Also, I keep saying the lion's mouth a whole lot here. I'm starting to be reminded of the song The Lion's Mouth by uh, Kajagugu. For those of you who only know them for Too Shy, this, that song was after Lamal left the band. I still recommend listening to it. As a matter of fact, I will put it in the description for this video so that you don't have to. Should I remember? I better remember. Anyway, that is four of the pillars raised. We have more to do and more to go to. And that's the last pillar I need to go to, but I still need to do some uh, moving around here. And then I can get this guy to run at me. I said if I can get this guy to run at me. There we go. Took so much effort just to get this guy to get hit by an anvil. I don't get it. But anyway, we need to get over here. There is a switch at the bottom of the water. Activate it and collect all the rings released from the chest to receive a reward. We will do that. Just dive down run into the switch and then just swim around in a circle before the time runs out 
and just get all the rings. Not exactly like Mario 64, but well, it's pretty similar enough anyway. And for doing this, we get another 25 gears. And we have 187 down, 113 to go. We need to do some more exploring. We definitely need to do some more exploring and play around in places where we have not been yet. Because those places where we can get everything, they are going to be rather useful places to find things where we need to find things. I mean, I'm pretty sure of that. And if I could get rid of this guy... And he just got to run at me. And I was too close to the anvil and he hit me because of that. That's not fun. That's not nice. But I can easily get that health back. And there's a clapper. I'll definitely need it. And here is where I will find my last crate. Now that I've been virtually everywhere else. Let's go ahead and get everything here. Perfect. All right. We need to start looking around in other areas. This is technically other areas. 260, 265. There are still places that we need to get to before we do anything else. There's that. We were there earlier. We're back at the beginning. There's 25 there, so that's 290. And if I were to go back to the last area where I need... Okay. Yeah. If, or not. Still need to go back here. How am I doing on... Yeah, I'm still at 265. So we still have... A 10 gear... Somewhere... That I have yet to find one in. And I need to look around and find it. The only other place I can think of... Is above where we got all of those... Got all of those rings. And that's going to be, I think... No, it's not right here. I don't think it's going to be right there. It's got to be close to where... Yeah, it's got to be above where we got the rings. What are you? Okay, you are where we found the rings. If I go up somewhere... No? No? Ain't that something? I thought maybe that would be the place. Well, we can keep looking. We can keep trying. We'll find it eventually. I would imagine. That's where we found that. Maybe it's in this chest. It's in this chest. Okay. Cool. We found the last gear before the exit. Now we just need to get to that one area. Kind of near the start. We were there earlier. There it is. Let's call Taz. What we need to do is get Taz on one of these little buttons here and have him spin. Then we shoot a carrot into the mouth of the lion near where Taz spun. And if we can do that, we can open up that last pillar thankfully there's a pretty good amount of leeway to do this with alright we need to go back to the start and go over here we do need to jump from pillar to pillar 
and to the entrance so that way we can get in here gonna do one more double check we are go we are 305 and one so let's do this You and me both, Bugs. You and me both. Anyway. We need to get our good friend, Baba, who doesn't seem to be any heavier than a box, to walk on into a shadow. These switches are somehow connected to the gongs. <coughs> so what we need to do is get Bugs on a button. Then we need to switch to Taz. And have an anvil land on our good friend Baba. We pick Baba up. We go towards this gong that is near the button that Bugs is standing on. Since it's slipped towards the battlefield here, we can easily get Taz to take Baba to the, to the gong and then throw him into the gong. Which thankfully doesn't take that much effort. From here, are you kidding me? We need to get bugs on another button. And then we need to get another, well, in this case, treasure chest to land on our good friend, Baba. Now, thankfully, you get a closer view of the gong once you are near it. You just have to make sure that Taz is looking. You just have to make sure that Taz is looking right at the gong so that way you can easily throw Baba to the gong. And I waited too long to do that, but I timed it right so I could do that. And Baba says different things the more times you throw him into things. And after three hits, he'll do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he will do a whirlwind slash when you hit him with three, when you throw him into three gongs. And that can make him a little harder to deal with, but not by much. And just like that, we can now throw you into this last gong. And we are done. Excellent. We had no time to lose. I had detected Daffy and the time gem. The duck is in the Transylvanian era. You collected enough gears to go there. Let me open the door first. And with that, one, we've unlocked the Transylvanian era. Two, we can leave Baba's cave by leaving through, going back from where we came into the boss room from, and then leaving straight through the entrance. We're not done yet, though. Because... If we were to look around in the highest parts of the Sunset Alleys, we can find the 100 gear, which I want to get my hands on before this video is over. And it's not just me, apparently. Jumping on this guy is a little more difficult than one would think. But anyway, you need to get over to this end. And if you can do it right, you can get over to this platform 
and grab the 100 gear. And from here, I don't think there's much left to do, so let's head back to Granik. And now that we are back in Grenick, one, we are now at 75% of the game done. We now have everything in the first three worlds of the game, and we can now head towards the last one. To find the Transylvania era, we just need to find the little stone walls with the lanterns. And from here, we just go off to the side, and here we are. Here we are in the final area of the game. Once we go through here, we're not done with the game until we are done with this area. Hopefully when we are done with this final area, we'll get the time gem back. Daffy will have, Daffy will have hopefully learned a thing or two. Or not. And we will have beaten this game 100%. So join me next time where we take on the fourth and final era of the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!